Hello everyone! How's your Akron and Lordship pools has been doing? For me, I've been having a ton of fun testing easier Akron without her signature light cone. Now, I will get hurt on her rerun because right now I'm saving for Booth Hill and he looks to be very cool. Now, maybe for some of you though, your Akron and Locha, they, they might be uh, a little bit different or a little bit strange. Now, I've heard some of your Acheron has a, a dragon's tail, you know, and also just just a tiny bit smaller. Or maybe your resident blonde doctor, who instead of carrying a coffin, is now carrying a gourd on his waist and he has a bit of a horn sticking out of his head. I'm talking about Biden, of course. But here's the big question. But can we save her? No. But not in the way that you think. Now, as we all know, Honkai Star Rail is approaching their one year anniversary. Throughout the game's lifespan, so far, they've been doing a pretty great job at maintaining character identity across the roster. Now, I'm not talking appearance wise, because let's be honest, too many Fox Chains ladies are the same. However, more on their individual kit and playstyle with some expected overlaps. Among in the many classes, however, the sustainers, i.e. the preservation and the abundance, have been in pretty constant tug of war regarding their difference in the average player base, answering the following question, which is better? Now today, we are going to be discussing our resident high elder healer of the Videadora from the Sienjo Lo Fu, that's a lot of words, our Dr. Bailu. This is GPJ, welcome to my channel. Now, what do I mean by we can't save Bailu? Well, first of all, Bailu is, as a character, is pretty cute. As a gameplay wise, she is severely power crept. Power crept to hell and back. A quick recap of Bailu her basic attack, she kicks. Very fun. Her skill, she heals in a game of chance. Uh, or in other words, RNG. With her ult, Area of effect heals and gives invigoration. And the most important part is her talent. She can revive defeated teammates one time in battle. Now, as a standard character released as the designated abundance character standard, aside from the core elements and the dragon imagery, she was considered by most to be one of the best early game characters due to the fact that her healing abilities, albeit again rng and the resurrection is a game changer for the many many times you'll die facing the enemy that are 30 levels above your team during the early game now almost one year since she is constantly falling out of the healer race by indirectly getting nerfed every patch unlike her ability to run away from her retainers she can't run away from the menacing hands of the developers Every single player dreaded coming face to face with the healer lady, not only due to the curse of Pokey, but also because we found suitable replacements for our cutest dragon doctor in the form of the blondest blonde in the universe, Minecraft Alex, Venom Snake before plastic surgery, and of course, Courage the Cowardly Dog. For the abundance class, as well as other units slash trends slash gameplay mechanics that are limiting by loose uses in our day-to-day -day grind as well as the hardest content in the game, Memory of Chaos. I'm of course talking about the preservation class of Fu Xuan and Aventurine. By the way, if you haven't played Aventurine's quest, you should do that. One of the best stories that Star Rail team has come up so far, and I think they can only get better. But hey, time will tell. The restart button in MOC is also a way to indirectly nerfing our cute dragon lady and of course her main weakness, debuffs. Of course I will be listing the pros and cons starting with her pros. First off, she is the only healer in the game so far with built in damage mitigation for the entire team. I'm talking about the invigoration talent and their Ascension 6 which gives her 10% damage mitigation when allies have invigoration. Second, she is 
albeit, again, RNG, a very very consistent AoE healer. Second only to Lorcha and in front of Huo Huo. Also, again with the caveat, Lorcha has a turn duration cooldown and yet he can activate his skill automatically and Huo Huo, Huo Huo's healing activates on the unit's turn as well as every single time the unit uses their ultimate. Whereas our Dragon Lady is stuck only when it's her turn and when it's time to use the ultimate. So there's that. Third, she's the only character so far that can revive another character in a party. Ironically, her only source of plan. Now, let's talk about Bailu's cons, her weaknesses, her Achilles heel somewhat. The biggest one, and the one that many people are pointing out ever since the beginning of the game, is that she has no cleanse. Well, she can cleanse, but only when your character is dead. Yeah. More importantly though, the crowd control cleanse and HP limitation debuffs. The other one, like the dots, the, the bleed, the shock, the wind shear, and the burn, that, that's, all, that's all child's play, right? Oh, you know, Bailu can just maximum HP, bulldoze, all that shit. Yeah, but remember also that a healer that cannot cleanse when the other members are afflicted, in many people's eyes, especially now, is a no value unit. Now, I'm not saying that Bailu does not offer any value, she offers survivability. You are guaranteed that their HP will not diminish somewhat. That's my point. Third, Locha can do everything that she can, but better, minus the revive and the damage mitigation while still being skill point positive. And he has cleanse. Huo Huo can do everything that she does, AoE heals, and on top of that, she has cleanse, and she can support the team by providing attack percent boost and providing energy regeneration. That is huge. And I think the last point that I'm gonna mention that not many people are saying is that there's so much healing from her that are wasted due to the overcapacity of HP. Now let's say you all of your teammates are not getting hit. You have your max HP, and then you are boosted with her with Bailu's heal, and then they have increased maximum HP. If you need your unit to heal all the time, and then sure you'll say that oh she can regenerate skill points in someone, but at least Huo Huo has energy regeneration. Huo Cha has the cleanse and the buff cleansing from the enemies. Bailu doesn't offer anything else other than healing and damage mitigation. And that's that's pretty much it. In a game where you need every single one of your units to do a little bit of things outside of their class, Bailu is a really, really sad occasion. Overall, she is still a solid, solid pickup that is just constantly getting overshadowed. Now, I have already explained to you all of the pros, I've already explained to you all of the cons, what many people thought about her at 1.0, and now what many people are valuing her as of right now. So what can we do to get her back into relevancy? First off, it's not up to us. Again, it's back to the developers that is, are in charge of the balancing of the game to basically buff her indirectly as buffing her directly would fall under some country's false advertising law and indicates favoritism. But we're not talking about that. Our, how are the devs are gonna make sure that Bailu has, will have her specific niche? Somewhat. Remember, also, that it's in the business, in this case, Oyaverse, best interest to not tinker with released units anymore. Except, of course, back at the time when Big Dong Zhang Li in Genshin, it's a special. Now, we can wait for the death patch, the death patch to say, oh, Bailu now is gonna heal every single time she does her skill. Oh, you know, we can wait for that. I have some ideas that could bring our Coral Dragon back into relevancy, and maybe the devs could say, stole this idea from me in the future. But I have two points. First off, we introduce true damage enemies. Now, true damage is damage that goes through any sort of protection, no matter what. Making preservation units, Jabbar, March 7th, Trailblazer, Fushuan, Aventurine, ineffective. Now, 
We already have some sort of a true damage in the game, and that is Sam in Memory of Chaos 12. Now Sam is a very good example with its skill point consume, you drain your HP mechanic, but it still leaves the unit at 1 HP. And the true counter for Sam is preservation units, specifically shielders. It still left them at 1 HP, but with shield, they will not be defeated. I want the enemy to defeat the team with true damage. That way, the value of healers will go up and the value of Bailu that has damage mitigation go up exponentially. Maybe in the future, Bailu will be brought back into relevancy by another unit. A unit or a mechanic that can utilize overheal into another resource. Kind of like how you stack HP percent or defense percent in your support and your sustainers to make them more tanky. Overheals from Bailu, Locha, Natasha could be converted into resources. Let's say in this case it's a damage bonus to that specific characters that are synergistic for healers. Again, bringing them up to the same level while keeping relevancy. Also, Bailu's signature Lycone is another very good example where the recorded outgoing healing from the healer will be converted into extra instance of damage the next time the healer uses their basic attack, helping you heal more for the whole team while keeping damage consistent. Or maybe in the future, there will be a character that converts their max HP and their healing into some sort of damage bonus or another stat like crit rate or crit damage. Honestly, this is the more realistic option to introduce some risk reward when choosing one unit over the other. Or um, imagine having a DPS that utilizes healer effectively, like converts their overheals or their maximum HP from their current health into maybe a break effect. Or maybe having a healer that can convert her heals into crit stat for the entire team. Kind of like how Huo Ho heals the team while also giving attack percent boost at the same time, but instead of attack percent boost having a somewhat fixed scaling, she could boost the attack as long as her heals are high above a certain threshold. Overall, this is just my ideas. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I have a Kofi page in the description below if you'd like to support my channel further. Thank y'all so much for watching, and as always, See you around.